Fraud occurs across all types of entities, and there's three major categories of fraud. Uh, fraudulent financial reporting, which has the largest dollar impact with the fewest number of cases. Misappropriation of assets, which include things like theft, billing frauds, payroll frauds. And these types of frauds uh, account for 90 to 95 percent of the cases, according to various studies, but only about 5 to 10 percent of the cases of fraud. Then we have corruption schemes uh, that include uh, examples such as bribery, conflicts of interest. However, a lot of the fraud goes undisco uh, undiscovered or not reported. The reasons fraud may go undiscovered because in a lot of these techniques that fraudsters use, they don't record the transactions. So traditional forensic accountants who would typically look at books and records would not have any types of transactions that might highlight uh, an area deemed subject worthy of an investigation. There's several major distinctions between traditional forensic uh, investigations and traditional auditing. For example, Auditing tends to have one hypothesis that the auditor obtains evidence to support the hypothesis that financial statements are presented fairly in accordance with some established basis of accounting. Whereas the forensic accountant seeks evidence to both support and refute his or her hypothesis simply because the forensic accountant knows the opposing party will have forensic accountants on their side uh, trying to refute the uh, proposed hypothesis. Uh, in traditional auditing, the auditor sets the scope. In forensic accounting, it's typically the attorney who sets the scope in terms of length of investigation, and also you follow legal rules of evidence. Also in forensic accounting, typically the forensic accountant is prepaid for his or her services, where in traditional auditing, the uh, professional is paid after the audit is complete. A lot of the techniques that auditors use are similar to those used in forensic accounting, such as interviews. However, there are some techniques that are particularly unique to forensic accounting. For example, the forensic accountant may search public records for evidence of lifestyle uh, changes uh, with the person under suspicion. The forensic accountant may visit social network sites to see if the person is, say, bragging about trips that they've taken or uh, automobiles that they purchased or jewelry they bought. When I conduct seminars for the Department of Justice prosecuting attorneys and Federal Bureau of Investigation, uh, their perception of a forensic accountant is that we just solely look at numbers and I have to remind them that many frauds are committed without recording the transaction. Uh, we also use uh, textual analytics because a large percentage of the communication within businesses and government entities today consists of a textual nature, emails, text messages, and so forth. And therefore, we use software to go through and filter out those text messages which might be indicative of a possible fraudulent act. I think forensic accounting is an exciting field to pursue. Uh, either a traditional auditor can enter into this field or an entry-level accountant. You get to work with a wide variety of non-CPAs uh, and you learn a lot about criminal law and, uh, and different types of investigative techniques than one uses when they do a traditional audit. For additional information on forensic accounting and investigative techniques, you can visit the Georgia Society of CPAs website, which is gscpa.org, or the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners, uh, which is a c f e dot com.